TCM dropped the new victim Virginia and she is powerful. We're going to explain everything about Virginia from her top perks, how long her poison clouds last, how the poison affects the family and the duration of that effect, and much more right now. All right, so we're gonna give you the most detailed breakdown of Virginia that you've seen yet. We're gonna go over her base stats, perks, special perks, boon ability, everything. And like we said, we tested a lot of things, so we'll have stuff that maybe you don't see anywhere else. Do you think she's top tier? I think she is the top tier. I mean, that boon ability is pretty powerful in the different ways you can use it. And we'll, we'll talk about it because there's a lot of ways you can use it. And a lot of it is kind of how you build her too. So let's start off with her base stats. So at base, toughness is a 30, endurance is a 35, strength is 15, proficiency 30, and stealth is, what is that, 18? Actually, she's kind of high in all the things I care about. Exactly, right? So she, the highest in toughness, endurance, and proficiency. And when you put skill points in, it's almost easy to get those all to like 40. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, so she is a powerful base character. All right, so let's start off about talking about her base perks and then we'll get into her specific perks. I just wanna highlight a couple things. She has efficient locksmiths, which is just cool. That is what it is. Fast hands. Oh, fast hands, one of my favorite perks. Fast hands, like that is a powerful perk. And she has extra drip. Oh, another great one. <laughs> I mean, she's got a proficiency perks. She has second wind. She's got a bunch of really good perks. She basically has a lot of my favorite base perks. Right. Yeah. So not only is her base powerful, she's got a ton of perks. And don't worry, I will be doing a skill tree once the skill tree is fixed. Now let's get into the special perks that you can add. So again, this is all unlocked through the skill tree. At this point, some of these can't be unlocked. The first one we're talking about is noise pollution. So Virginia's powder cloud highlights family members who enter for up to 10 seconds. So that's more of like giving your teammates an idea of where they are. Yeah, I'm not so interested in that one. Yeah, that's more of like a good teammate, which you're not, so I understand I'm why terrible. you're not interested. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's the hands-off perk. So picking up powder prevents anyone else from picking up further powders, including Virginia for 90 seconds. Eh. That doesn't sound that great to me. No. All right, now we have blotter. Blotter tainted blood buckets also highlight any family member who comes near them within a range of five, seven, so I think it's up to nine meters. That's actually not bad. So if a family member gets near a tainted blood bucket, not only are you gonna poison, they're poisoned, but also you're gonna get them marked on the map. I mean, that's pretty good. Now, the only, we'll get into it. The duration of how long that that blood bucket's tainted might sway you from not using this. Yes, and you will find out soon. Trace chemicals. Powder collection points within 10 meters are highlighted to you. So basically, easy way to find powder. I mean, again, some of these are like beginner, like probably nice if you're a beginner to find these locations. And then as you get better and know the map, you don't have to use them. Protective aura. When above 80% health victims within six meters take 20% less damage. That'd be good for us for running team, you know? Dude, and you're going to take 20% less damage. Dude, that's pretty powerful. Did you? I mean, Virginia and Leland combo? Uh, that's a great pair. And I think we're going to run it. <laughs> Dude, that, that's a pretty powerful perk. Okay, last of the perks, and I gotta say, I think it might be one of the most powerful here, coagulant. So Virginia's powder cloud drains 50% of the blood being carried by any family member who enters it. Especially now, it seems like the blood runners are heavy. Like people are really leveling up grandpa and then with hitch trapping, you know how that goes. If you just wanna slow down a team of blood runners and you you throw your cloud out, they're not even gonna realize that they're gonna lose a bunch of their blood. They're kind of battling the blood build, the fast leveling up of grandpa. Virginia's kind of a kind of a must to slow that down. So you run a lot with Leatherface. Isn't there one of the perks that's pretty important where you have to have a full blood vial? That's a really good point. Yes, violent. People that are running those blood uh, blood builds where if you have a full blood vial, you get extra whatever stamina for your, for Leatherface at Savagery or extra damage. Yeah, with that, it's going to drop that down. They might not even notice. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great little uh, perk there. If you want more gameplay, behind the scenes videos, and even have your gameplay clips featured on the Friday Night Gaming Podcast and much more, become a member today. So now we're going to get into Virginia's specific ability. So the ability tree, not the skill tree, the ability tree. So there's lots of options. We just condense it down here for you. So you can increase the duration of the blood buckets. So how long that uh, lasts the poison in the blood buckets. Okay. You can go from five seconds to 10 seconds additional to the base level of blood bucket. Uh, you can contaminate more buckets. I think you can do four with Boone. Like that'll take up your whole, if your Boone's maxed out, that'll take it all out. Now you can go to five. Uh, you can increase the powder cloud duration by five extra seconds. You can lower your cooldown by 20%. Now the problem with this, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think I had a cooldown. Yeah, we looked through it. I don't know what you're cooling down. Yeah, when I played, it seemed like you could almost 
throw your do your boon back to back. Yeah, they, there wasn't a cooldown when we were testing it. Unless they're talking about like poisoning, you can double poison a bucket. I don't think that's a thing, but I don't know. Let us know if we're wrong. Now the top tier in her uh, boon ability. So you can have a cloud that consumes the family member's stamina and it says it kind of vaguely. That's how it says it. So I don't know if they walk through and lose all their stamina or lose half their stamina or what, but... Dude, that's pretty powerful because imagine if someone's trying to kill you, they walk through it. Not only, not only are they blinded now, when they're unblinded, they have no stamina to hit you. That's powerful, but I think these next two are the way to go. When Virginia throws her powder cloud, if a victim walks into it, they will heal three points per second. Oh, that's pretty good. So Virginia can heal the entire victim squad. Yeah, if you guys roll together, just drop a cloud and everyone can heal. Dude, that, that to me is huge. Now, this next one is the one I would probably lean towards just because it's powerful. If you throw your cloud and the family member walks into it, they lose all their blood. The way you could use it is like if you see them gathering blood, you could throw a cloud out and have them chase you through it if they're going to grandpa or something, they lose all their blood. Yeah, but to me, I'd rather have the uh, healing teammates for sure. Eh, it depends on how you play. I, I don't know. I, I bet you you'll see more people run the reducing blood vial to zero like i mean if you're playing with a team though i do think yeah the healing is pretty huge too so because you can almost do this blood vial the reducing it down instead of getting at the top of the ability tree you can use that coagulant and that'll drop it down 50 percent anyways that way you could heal your teammates and you can get them to drop their that's blood. a good point Good build. Dang, we just meta. found the meta. meta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't say this, but the so we were we didn't know what the blinding was going to look like, but it's pretty much a hard blue blur. It's hard to see through it. You're not seeing much. You know, that's another thing too with Leatherface. Like, where, so when you get hit by the, the cloud when you're Leatherface, you can't see a rev at all. Now it's time to get into some details. Does Virginia's boon automatically regenerate? No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you have to go you use the sissies poison stations. It's the same thing. And when you get it, you'll get two charges for the, you'll get two of the throwing charges. It fills up your meter, but you can poison blood bucket. You can poison four blood buckets. Or if you use some, if you tune her ability tree, right, you can get five. Now we need to talk about how far you can throw it because I was thinking you could get some distance. You're not going to be throwing it too far. Well, she does have low strength, so it does make sense. I wonder if you improve her strength if it helps with the throwing distance. <laughs> That's actually a good point. I doubt it, but that's interesting. More importantly, the duration. So we timed this out. You get 15 seconds off the base level with the cloud. Okay, so we know 15 seconds, you throw it, that's how long it lasts. But you need to know how long it's gonna last when you poison a blood bucket, and you're gonna need to know how long it stuns the family member. And for that, Thanks, Dan. I found that blood buckets stay poisoned for one minute. Also, when a family member gathers blood from a poison bucket, they will go blind for five seconds. And once a family member walks into the poison cloud, they will be blinded for seven seconds. Oh, and just so you know, when you start a match, your boon is empty. So you'll have to head to one of the powder stations to fill up. All right, that's it for me. Back to you, Dan. Thank you, Darren. <laughs> <laughs>